guys it's yet another day here um like i said i'm heading to bari and um bari is one of the beach areas here in canada and i met this kenyan guy and um we are going to bari and i'm like you know what we have like an hour on the bus so he's been here for how long? four years yeah he's been here in canada for four years yeah. and i was just like you know what let's do a video and um let's do some learning so i'm gonna be asking him questions and um he'll just tell us about his life and guys don't mind my mouth i don't know what happened here i have this something that is growing on my mouth on my lip it's upper the lip cold. yeah i think it's the cold yeah anyway so some intro tell us about yourself your names and all that mm. Your ah. <laughs> My name is uh, Ronald. You're not talking long, loudly, they can't hear you. Okay. My name is Ronald. Mogaka. Mogaka. <laughs> uh, How long have you been here in I've, Canada for? I've been here for four years now. I moved from Kenya in 2017. Uh, the end of 2017. So that's uh, like five that's, years. Yeah, that's yeah? like five years now. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what do you do here? Right now, I'm a, I'm a, a technician, a pulmonary technician. Guys, are you here? He's a pulmonary technician. Yeah. yeah. People didn't come to play here. <laughs> so you know, what, what thing, is that in English? What is what is pulmonary technician in English? That's Look English. At, look at the camera. Oh, all right. Look at the people. That's, that's that's English. That's in, it's pulmonary technician is basically um, it deals with uh, oxygen, like uh, setting people. We have uh, people who are prescribed; they have to live on oxygen. So what we normally do, or what what I do, is setting them up, uh, connecting them uh, with the oxygen, and then that way they can uh, breathe. So what, what does a typical day for you look like? Like how many hours do you work? What, wow. what, what does that look like as a pulmonary technician here in Canada? Mm. Good. It's um, on call because, uh, you know, this is uh, uh, healthcare. And uh, sometimes you, I get calls even at night. Like, oh, so and so, there is this patient here. He needs... Uh, oxygen maybe oxygen cylinders maybe his machine is uh, ha has developed some problem so i have to go and rectify the problem or maybe he's run or they've run out of uh, oxygen mm -hmm. so i have to re replenish it so basically it's more of like like doctors the way doctors are always on call yeah that's how it works yeah but uh I, we have uh, a, a, an office like where I work from mm -hmm. and I work from uh, 8 in the morning mm -hmm. to 4. Oh, okay. So you, that's your period yeah. from where yeah. you can be called between that period? No, I can be called anytime. Even anytime. outside of yeah. 4 o'clock? Whenever a client calls anytime, mm -hmm. I have to go and uh, and do what, what, what they want. Required. Yeah. Okay. And, and so what, does, what is required if I want to work in Canada as a pulmonary technician? What do I do? Like, do you have to go training? Yes, yes. Did you have, you to, have go to go training to a here in Canada? School. Yes, I went? did. Uh -huh. From back home, I, I did uh, teaching. Mm -hmm. Education? Yeah, education. So when I came to Canada, that one, uh, of course, I did uh, uh, mathematics, mm -hmm. uh, chemistry. But here, when in I came Kenya. here, yeah, in Kenya, when I came here, they said that, uh, well, they need a Canadian uh, education, uh, Canadian experience, uh -huh. uh, and stuff like that. So, and again, getting job in that area it was not easy. Was not very easy, and well, there are jobs, but they are not well paying. Oh, I'm glad yeah, you touched on money able to appear. Based <laughs> What's the on typical, before you go there. Uh, what is the typical salary of, let's say, if you had become a teacher, if you had continued becoming a teacher, what would be the salary range be like? Well, it depends again. Are you working with the government or, or are you working the with the private, private sector? Yeah. Which one is more paying, government or private sector? A government. Oh, how much yeah, do they yeah, pay? Government. They, they, they get uh, around 75. An hour? 
No, uh, uh, five thousand. Oh, yeah, so five thousand. Yeah, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. And private? Mm -hmm. uh, as private is uh, like around sixty. Sixty thousand. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. In pulmonary, what is the range? It's yeah. a little bit higher. It's a little bit higher than that. It's mm -hmm. like eighty. Eighty thousand. Yeah, like that's with the starting. And in terms of the working conditions, is it better as a pulmonary technician? Yeah, it's better. Like uh -huh. you get to, you know, I like serving. Oh yeah. I like, like your job is yeah, giving somebody like giving someone time. like you know, uh -huh. you serve uh, like um, helping those people. You know, these are patients. Mm, you go yeah. maybe they are struggling to, to to breathe and stuff. So when you you do the thing. And how long does it take to get trained? Like from when I if I start training today hmm. until when I'm ready to yes, get my stop. first job, like how much minimal like yes, minimal training? training. It's two years. Oh, so you go for two years training? Yeah. So it's something you have to do physically here, or it's an online training or mix. Well, you can do it online, but mm. then sometimes you have to be In physically. Yeah. Right? So which are there like any recommended colleges that offer this kind of training? Yeah, we have colleges here, yeah, like uh, we have Seneca, we have uh, York University, mm -hmm. we have Hamburg College, they are all in Toronto. And where, where, what do you get when you finish? Is that a diploma, certificate, degree? What do you get? It's a diploma. Oh, it's a diploma. Yeah. But you can, you, you can get even a, a degree in the same and stuff. Yeah. But for me, I have... Uh, very very encouraging so one of the questions a lot of people keep asking me mm -hmm. is uh, so I'm, I'm glad you mentioned about the, the pulmonary technician how easy is it to get a job like I don't know if the same course is offered in countries like Kenya um, Uganda Tanzania Nigeria whatever I'm not sure mm -hmm. but let's say for example I'm, I want to believe it's probably offered in Kenya as well mm -hmm. so let's say if I went to KMTC and I would like to work with you, first they have to assess you. Mm -hmm. Assessing you means uh, you, you give them your certificate, your papers, but then they have to like uh, physically see if you are for sure qualified for to that do what you, you, claim you want to do. Yeah. So they call it Canadian experience. Uh -huh. So they have to train you, you will have to go to uh, maybe a refresher course. Mm -hmm. Even if you did it from Kenya, come here you have to do a refresher course. Yeah. So would that be an advantage for me? Like if it's I've already done that course in Kenya, then I come here, would it be an advantage for me? Or it's better for me to just come here to Canada and to do this? Well, it's an advantage because you look, you won't have to start from to do scratch. it from scratch. Like all the two years that I did, uh, you don't have to do that. You won't have to do that. Maybe you it will be like uh, I think even three months mm -hmm. you'll be okay. Yeah. Oh well, thank you, Mogaka, for speaking to the Ivam Tali crew. Mm -hmm. Guys, as usual, if you have any other questions for Mogaka. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. But I'm also going to be doing some lives with him. So make sure to check them out. Because remember on the lives we talk a lot more. We answer more questions. And um, I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.